Yet just in the last 30 minutes, city commissioners voted against outdoor permits six to one after hearing from about a dozen business owners tonight. Commissioners say they just weren't comfortable encouraging large gatherings during the current pandemic. Biketoberfest brings in revenue during the slow season, usually seeing up to 125,000 people. But because of COVID-19, an executive order by the mayor earlier this year prohibits issuing new permits for large gatherings. Here's some of what was debated tonight people in our community that are using this money to support their Christmas, their Thanksgiving, their Halloween, their way to get through the winter. Because I don't know if you know the tourist aspect of the city, but it is a very seasonal business. While people may count on this for you know their income or may count on this for the holidays and while children may be disappointed, I mean I think the risk of even one or two people dying probably outweighs the sense of disappointment. Right? Tonight we took an opportunity to put some regulation in place. If we don't adopt this, then who knows what the safety plan might be over there. I'm not for this, and I'm sorry. I mean, I understand what you're saying, but um, I think we need, to be, we need to be real about this thing. Commissioner Robert Gilliland was the only commissioner to vote in favor. The vote tonight means businesses in Daytona Beach can still operate, but no outdoor vendors, including music, will be allowed. And in contrast, Ormond Beach City Commissioners today did vote in favor of allowing those outdoor events to happen. Stuart.